So hello, welcome to the show. My name is Katalin and you are listening to my Wellness Workshop Radio. Today I'm joined by Paul Zellhorst, who is the founder of uh, the Paleo Convention, which is coming up in Berlin just next Saturday. And he's also founder of uh, Ghetto Paleo. So hi, how are you, Paul? Hi, Katalin. Thanks for inviting me. I'm fine. I'm chilling and having a nice kombucha wow. here in Berlin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And I'm not the only founder, by the way. Uh, my co-founder, Leon, cannot be here right now, but he's the co-founder. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Co-founder of the Paleo Convention, you mean? Exactly. Okay. So for like total beginners, <laughs> what is this all about? For those who haven't ever heard about Paleo, which I don't think there are many people like that. <laughs> oh, you're really... <laughs> audience, but maybe okay. if you could like put it in a nutshell... Um, okay, a lot of people when they hear paleo, they always think, ah, oh, it's that Stone Age diet when we were hunter gatherers. But actually, it's more than a diet; it's a whole lifestyle. And with the paleo convention, we try to show the people what paleo is all about, like the five big, let's say, bases for paleo, which are um, food, movement, that you get enough sunlight. Uh, that you uh, socialize with your friends and that you get enough rest. Yeah. Mm. So those are the five, I guess, most important factors for a healthy and long life. And uh, with the Paleo Convention, we want to present every aspect of it. We have a huge food market where we um, have wonderful food from fresh wild-caught mackerel on the grill to paleo burgers, uh, to super nice nose-to-tail eating, fresh ferments, and mm -hmm. yeah, a lot of stuff that you cannot get like that except on that day. Yeah, and what I love about this uh, convention and this event that is that you are really representing the, the whole aspect of paleo, because when, when you, are, you hear people talking about paleo, it's most of the time they are just talking about, you know, the diet and nutrition aspect of it. And it's mu so much mm. more than that. And I love in your event that you are really putting a focus on, on the other aspects, which are like equally important, <laughs> if, <laughs> not, if not more important <laughs> in some sometimes. <laughs> so in, what, what is your story with, with paleo? How, how did you end up with paleo? And how did you, you know, <laughs> how do you think about uh, organizing an event like that. Okay, so uh, how I got to paleo, uh, actually I've been having uh, problems with my health my whole life. I've had allergies, <clears throat> food intolerances, like even histamine intolerance uh, at some point and I tried everything from uh, western medicine to um, yeah, I just tried everything, uh, homeopathic, I, I don't know if it's the English word. Um, yeah, I've heard like that. Yeah, and acupuncture and everything. But <clears throat> I even got those uh, injections once a week. And then at one point I was um, uh, dependent on cortisol, kind mm -hmm. of, and was really, really bad. And I even tried vegan and vegetarian, and I even felt worse. <laughs> and at some point I was like, okay, I have this friend back in, in London who – who told me about this paleo diet and uh, and I was so feeling so bad I was about to do anything mm. you know before that I heard of paleo before but I was like no I'm I'm not going to skip my uh, nice german bread oh yeah <laughs> and, uh, and um my noodles and stuff so uh, then I actually was at a point where I tried and it was amazing. Like after a couple of days, I already felt something. And after two, three weeks, I was as healthy as I have never been before. Mm. I wow. slept better, had much better energy levels. Um, I was not tired throughout the day anymore after meals. Uh, my my skin got much better. Um, I just yeah was much happier. When I got up in the morning, I was already up and not like uh how do you say <laughs> like <laughs> sleepy this, yeah and this tiredness and brain yeah. fog and stuff yeah yeah so everything all of that it has lifted yeah and that with... was like sorry sorry um that that was like uh two years ago mm -hmm. when uh, when i got to paleo and then i immediately like uh got a couple of books like the the my uh, 
get some books here on my shelf. And this was the first book I read. Oh, yeah. A friend from London, he told me. And it's, wow, it was like... <laughs> Like a Paul Bible Gemini, to me, right? yeah, Paul Gemini, and actually, mm -hmm. I'm very, very proud that he will be a speaker at uh, the Paleo Convention. He's he's coming over from America, and this is an amazing book, and um, it has the it has Paleo as a basis, but goes much further than that, on, yeah. and all on a very scientific level and basis. Yeah, we just, we just had not too long ago another interview with Paul Gemini. So yeah, yeah, I, I listened to that, and it was very great. Yeah, right. so anyone interested more in detail, listen to the interview, but better than that, come to the event. <laughs> it's <laughs> so much better to hear him speaking live. And as of the, you know, the, the presenters on the event, uh, can you mention some other uh, names and um, like folks that are presenting? Of course, like uh, we have uh, Daryl Edwards from uh, London. He's mm -hmm. hosting, he has been hosting the Health Unplugged in London, which is kind of a paleo conference over there as well. And he's been at Paleo FX a couple of times as a workshop uh, leader and a speaker. And he's uh, into nat natural movement and will also do a work workshop with us, Primal Play it is called. And then we have some really great um, um, workshop leaders in, in other areas uh, with nat natural movement. We have calisthenics, we have yoga, we have pilates, yeah. parkour, all that kind of stuff, which is really amazing. And um, I'm very proud that we got all these people from different areas together to join us and understand what paleo is. And a lot of them already knew what mm -hmm. paleo is. So, And the speakers, um, the other speakers are all um, German. Uh, we got, for example, Philipp Rauscher, who uh, used to be the vice, uh, how do you call <laughs> vice champion in, in natural bodybuilding. Mm -hmm. He's talking about fasting. Uh, then, well, for example, we have uh, Jens Frese. Uh, he's a really cool guy and who has been teaching paleo for a long time. Uh, he's, he learned everything from uh, Lauren Cordain and did his own scientific research with a group of people. Um, out in the wilderness even and um, uh, he, he, he taught me a lot about paleo so I did a food coach and a paleo coach um, in his seminars mm -hmm. and we have uh, Sabine Paul for example who was one of the first talking about paleo in Germany and they all have different stories like Sabine Paul for example uh, did a um, uh, scientific research on the Hatza mm -hmm. yeah. um, so and is presenting her work there, uh, very nice with pictures and all. And uh, yeah, it's it's going to be a great event, I think. Mm -hmm. And you are putting uh, some emphasis on, on making this an international event, right? So yes, that, yes, that yes, people definitely. are from from all other countries uh, coming to to Berlin, definitely. other than definitely. from Germany. Yeah, and we we have uh, some speakers even are speaking in English now, even mm -hmm. though they are not German. I'm sorry if I uh, forgot speakers now. Like, we got really great people. Uh, Professor Spitz. Uh, we got uh, Adel Musa, who is actually one of the most read uh, nutritional blogs internationally, and it's a mm -hmm. German blog. Mm -hmm. But he's uh, writing in English, and he's going to have his premiere as a speaker ever wow. <laughs> on the conference, and. Yeah, and like the workshops are kind of universal, you know, the, the workshop leaders can all speak English. So if you want to join and you're international, don't worry. And yeah. Okay, so it's a, it's a quite big event for like uh, international participants. So from, the, from all around the world, you get visitors <laughs> as far as I know. Yeah, we got people from Hungary. Oh, well, yeah. Like you, for example, um, from England. People book tickets from America, Austria, uh, the Netherlands, uh, Italy, um, yeah, Switzerland. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. Okay, so coming back to your story with paleo, so you you kind of resolved all your health pro problems, like at least most of it, I guess. Yeah. And was yeah. it only the the <coughs> diet part of it, or was it also the the lifestyle aspect of it? I think the diet made up most of my problems, that the diet was not uh, very good. And um, 
the stress and not enough resting aspect was not that good. Like I used to do a lot of sports that was okay. I used to go in the sun a lot and I have a lot of friends. So uh, yeah, I guess those two factors were the most important ones. And then even when I, uh, when I, when I um, cut out uh, coffee mm -hmm. from my diet, I had even much, much better results. Mm -hmm. Like coffee had a pretty big impact on me, like even like on my uh, stomach, kind of, that uh, I didn't feel that well, but also on my stress level. And I think coffee is one of the things that should be even more discussed because uh, a lot of people react very different to, to coffee. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I also so, had to quit coffee, and yeah. it's very good for me. Prefer to drink some yeah, kombucha. switch it to some kombucha <laughs> or some fermented yeah. stuff. And by the way, what is the what is paleo and ghetto style? <laughs> um, yeah, I, I founded a ghetto paleo like one and a half years ago, mm -hmm. and I founded it because um, what I didn't like about paleo when I first saw it was that. I thought, okay, it's going to be very expensive to always eat grass-fed meat and all that stuff and always buy bio and regional and seasonal and all that. So I kind of was like, I like this paleo a lot, but I don't know if I'm going to be perfect at it. So mm -hmm. I'm going to be uh, 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 do a split between uh, low budget mm -hmm. but also high quality food. And the ghetto aspect as kind of a funny thing because I come from a hip hop background as well and mm -hmm. uh, yeah I didn't want uh, to take myself too seriously about paleo you know yeah like because it puts more stress I, on you right <laughs> so it's, yeah, it's better also. to do it on the easy going way yeah and I like I wanted to kind of reach out to my friends also about this paleo thing and I thought with that I can reach a much younger audience maybe mm -hmm. and <clears throat> then I started <clears throat> and hosting uh, supper clubs actually at my place uh, every three weeks ever since. So I've hosted like thirty supper clubs now with mm -hmm. uh, my partner Katarina. Mm -hmm. Shout out! To, shout outs to Katarina, <laughs> and um, she's a great cook, one of the best paleo cooks in Germany, I guarantee. Uh -huh. <laughs> and uh, yeah, we had a lot of, lot of supper clubs where we invite people to my place. They mm -hmm pay a small amount of money and then we cook for them and we kind of tell them about paleo, answer questions. So you cook Netflix. for them? You cook for them or you teach them how to cook? I or cook as well. Involved? I cook as well. Like as soon as I enter the kitchen, the boss is telling me what to do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but I what I mean is that are you also teaching the, the, the guys, I mean the, the guys who yeah. are, you are inviting how to cook yeah. or... You just uh, show not, them not, and then not, they do it at home or something like that. Not how to cook, but more mm -hmm. like uh, if they have questions, they can feel free to just ask us mm -hmm. and we'll answer as good as we can. Sounds but good. we don't want to, and I don't see paleo very dogmatic, you know, this is also mm -hmm. the thing with the ghetto paleo thing. I think everybody has to see what works for him best. Paleo mm -hmm. is a basis for everybody. Mm -hmm. And when you when you've done paleo for Sometime you can test what works for you. And I think it's a long road to really knowing what works best for you. I'm not even there yet. And it might, might take still a long time. But, yeah. Yeah, but I think it's more important to, to take a small baby step maybe every day and just get there eventually. <laughs> so. Yeah. And sometimes, like, we're not machines. We cannot be perfect. So sometimes you have your days where you drink mm -hmm. some alcohol or <laughs> or yeah, eat the, some cheese the and good eighty twenty rule right <laughs> yeah. but they say never cheat with gluten <laughs> mm, yeah you have to so, think about your beer <laughs> twice yeah. can you get gluten free beer at least in Germany or somewhere yes mm -hmm. actually uh, shout outs to Lamsbräu thank you very much uh, we mm -hmm. got a sponsoring mm -hmm. from Lamsbräu which mm -hmm. is a German uh, beer producer and they have gluten free beer and it will be available at the Paleo Convention. So if you want to join the best Paleo Beer Fest in Germany, <laughs> join us there. Yeah. But also, uh, as far as I figured, uh, there in Germany and Berlin, you have many suppliers uh, for, for like really quality food, like this grass-fed and, and white coat fish and grass-fed based um, like restaurants and 
definitely suppliers. So they are all going to be presented over there, right? Yeah. So a lot of people do not know that we have the oldest paleo restaurant in the world here. Mm -hmm. It's called the Sauvage Restaurant. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to have our after show party there. Yeah. The after show party sounds very ex exciting as well. So. <laughs> <laughs> As well as the event itself. How about the event? You have a, a marketplace, right? And then you uh, also have this uh, this special symposium part. It's like the... Yeah, uh, so um, we have a symposium area where there are talks throughout the whole day. Mm -hmm. um, then we have a market area where we have the food stands. Mm -hmm. Then we have kind of an attraction area where we have an outdoor gym. And we have a... a, a boulder climbing mountain kind of thing mm -hmm. which is like six meters high and you can climb they're going to do a contest i think and then we have a show area where we have different shows that you can join in mm -hmm. and uh, then we have all the uh, hall where we have all the uh, vendors mm -hmm. circle who are exhibiting their products services and all so they have very nice stuff, and uh, we got much more vendors actually for this first event event than we thought we could have. Mm -hmm. um, it's a lot of stuff to discover, and then we have a chill out area <clears throat> where we have <clears throat> uh, an artist uh, uh, showing his art. Mm -hmm. Like uh, it looks a bit like uh, uh, when people painted into the caves. You know, oh, yeah. back, back in time. <laughs> so that's pretty cool. And an edutainment area uh, that we do with Paleo Leben. It's from Jens Frese, who educated me as a paleo coach. We have a, a posters where you can see, ah, okay, that's paleo and that's what it's all about. And then a food show area mm -hmm. where, uh, where we do fermentation and uh, how to prepare a matcha tea, how to do raw vegan food, how to handle it and stuff. Mm -hmm. yeah. So you even combined raw vegan food with paleo? Or yes. <laughs> yeah. we, so even have a, we even have a, a clean eating uh, restaurant mm -hmm. at our uh, convention. It's called The Bowl. It's, I'm very proud to have them. Uh, it's, clean eating is kind of this middle thing between vegan and paleo. Mm -hmm. You know, it's, I think it's a trend in the U.S. already. Mm -hmm. And um, they have really nice stuff, nice, of, nice leafy greens and all mm -hmm. that. It's clean eating means that uh, you, have a, you have the quality resources for your foods, right? Like yeah, they don't use uh, gluten or any, I, I think they don't use any grains. Then they don't use trans fats. Mm -hmm. They don't use milk products. Mm -hmm. But they do some quinoa. And buckwheat and all that, but I think when they do, it's uh, sprouted and yeah, and that. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, and you also have some international uh, like um, booths. I know about the Western A Price Foundation. Yes, and then I also example. know that you have some after event online uh, presentation or seminars or yeah. webinars. With FDN, food and diagnostics. It's functional nutrition. diagnostic nutrition, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And yeah. How, about, uh, how about yourselves? You, you are also a, a coach, right? Like a nutrition yes. coach? Or, so yeah. you, you have helped yourself and now you are, kind of, you are helping others as well? Yes. So right. people can go to you and hire you as their, their coach? Definitely. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. All right. So, um, uh, how about uh, <laughs> how about uh, like um, where can people go to find out more about this event and more about maybe you and your co-founder? Um, go to www.paleoconvention.de or .com internationally. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Or no, no, it's dot not org, .com. Right? .org, Sorry. yeah. Mm -hmm. .org. And go on our uh, Facebook page, mm -hmm. facebook.com slash paleoconvention. And there you will be able to find the event and find the tickets. Like if you, you can either go to the exclusive area, you know, and book tickets. Or you can uh, just go to the market uh, um, fair trade area where you also have those food shows and natural movement shows and all. It's just two euros entry fee. Mm -hmm. So super cheap yeah. and we we wanted to emphasize that we want to make uh, paleo 
kind of accessible to everybody. It's not exclusive, you know. Mm -hmm. We want to we want everybody to be able to see what paleo is about. To see what paleo is about and what healthy life is and healthy, you know, uh, movement yes. is about. Okay, and uh, you you personally you are also musicians, right? <laughs> so you yes, I have am. some background in hip hop. Yes, and I just heard uh, one of your track is about uh, is like uh, about paleo. <laughs> yes, <is> quite funny. <laughs> Even though I don't understand, you know the. <laughs> Did you understand anything or? Uh, yeah, just some, you know, because it's in German, so yeah. But mm. it it was a nice uh, track, so. <laughs> Thank you. And you have some uh, you have some shows with with your band or. Uh, Are you going no. to perform? <laughs> <laughs> Leon, the co-founder, Leon, he kind of wants to force me to <laughs> perform yeah, something. Why not? But I said I'll only do it if he does some beatbox. If and he, he cannot beatbox, if he does some beatbox, mm. no beatbox. <laughs> oh, okay, so he but has to do that. He cannot. He cannot beatbox, so I'm pretty. Uh, I'm pretty safe, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't have to do that either. Yeah, but like the the music thing, I'm I don't I'm not into that anymore as much. But uh, I'm very happy to when I can spread the word about paleo. I also used to be in German TV shows and had some magazines over and TVs uh, TV um, um, um how do you say channels mm -hmm. you know at the supper clubs and all. So I'm very happy to always spread the word about paleo, and uh, the doing this rap track was one of the ways to do it. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. Yeah, and uh, actually, what I've also heard that uh, that paleo FX in the U.S. is one of your role models, right? So yes. and they they also know about your event in yes. in Germany, and they are yeah. kind of supporting your actions yeah. and stuff like that so yes. this this whole thing is getting more and more international now <laughs> shout outs to keith and michelle thank you for your help and input they posted our event a couple of times and they were very helpful we had a skype call with them they're great people it's amazing what they've been doing over there mm -hmm. and uh yeah we will be over there next time and hopefully they'll be here in 2016 mm -hmm. okay so this event is actually, uh, as you you told me, is is good for for the regular lay, lay person who is even like totally new to the paleo. But it's also you you were aiming to target it for like health practitioners like yourself and myself, so we can even learn so much more yeah. from those experts in the symposium area. And yes. I know that many other health practitioners <clears throat> and health experts are also coming. To, to visit the symposium so yes I, I can highly enc encourage people from all around Europe to come and, and learn more <laughs> definitely and <clears throat> if you want to have the nerdy kind of stuff go to the yeah. symposium area I will get definitely some... do that I love nerdy <laughs> stuff <laughs> and get some like really nice special workshops Mm -hmm. And we also give them, uh, the, the people who are in this area, we give them a, a free a meal mm -hmm. voucher and they get a huge goodie bag with all kinds of paleo products from America, from England, from Germany, from <laughs> the Netherlands. So it's mm -hmm. going to be a huge bag. And yeah, if you just want to see what mm, paleo food looks like, what it tastes like, uh, want to see what kind of nice treats you can do with the paleo mm -hmm. food, like cookies and cakes and all of that kind of stuff, go check it out. Mm -hmm. And all the real food st stands. Real food, yeah. There's the out, emphasis right? is on the real food, of course. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. And uh, you should go in, in some leisure clothes, right? Because of the workshops, uh, you get the chance to, to do some workouts yeah. with those yeah. workshop leaders and stuff, right? You should go like, like Adam and Eve, just with a leaf on your... <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, so, <laughs> so that's the dress code for the event, right? That's the dress code, exactly. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's going to be a hot summer day, so... Yeah. Oh, come, come like, like ever uh, you want, you know? Okay. Be just just feel relaxed and be in a good mood in your clothes. Yeah, it sounds like a fun event, so I'm looking forward and very excited to go and <laughs> visit Berlin for that event. So, 
Cool. It's going to be next Saturday. So I hope yes. many of you guys are going to join us there. So I yeah. hope to see you there and <laughs> yeah. see you next Saturday then. Thank you. Bye bye. So, um, thank you very much for this. Join our event. Mm -hmm. And thank you, Paul, for this interview. Thank you. <laughs> so bye bye. See you next Saturday. Bye bye. Bye bye.